Hey everyone, welcome to another video from Simply Learn. Today, we are here to learn how to install MATLAB on Windows. We will see some of the alternative for MATLAB and some of the basic commands in MATLAB. Before we begin, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do by clicking the subscribe button and pressing the bell icon to ensure that you will never miss an update from us. Before we get started, I have a question for you. In MATLAB, which of the following is used to analyze and visualize the data? Is that PCAD, Simulink or Power World Simulator? Comment your response in the comment section below. Now, let's see how to install MATLAB for Windows. Well, MATLAB is not an open source. It is a proprietary tool. Now, the question is, what is proprietary tool? Proprietary tool is a software owned by an organization or an individual. It is not a public domain software that is freely available or freely distributed. As MATLAB is not an open source, we can still get a one-month trial for the official software. Now, let's see how to install MATLAB from mathwork.com. Before getting into an installation process of MATLAB, just we have to download MATLAB from MathWork. For that, visit the official website of MathWork and log in using your email ID and password. After that, click on a Get MATLAB button. After that, it will be redirected to a page where you can see Install MATLAB. Press on the Install MATLAB button. And you can see we can download MATLAB for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. If you are a Windows user, please press on the download button and an exe file will get downloaded into your laptop. After downloading this, let's see how to install MATLAB for Windows. Now we are enter your email ID. As I am entering my email ID like on which you have created your account on MathWork. Next, press next. Now you have to give your password. Press on sign in. Now this is an license agreement. Click on this button and press next. Here the default selection will be a free trial of your license. And this is my license and uh, it will be like this. And press next. Here it will give you the information. The name of the user is Anusha R and the email ID. And now just press next. Here it will be a location where your MATLAB will be installed. If you want, you can browse and you can change the location. Otherwise, let it be a default location. Now you have to select a product. I'll select MATLAB. MATLAB is more than efficient for basics. And if you can select any type, any kind of products or in how much product you want, if you want to simulink or any other computer version tool, or if you want to build any other projects and you want other image processing tool any tool you need you can select and then press next as i've already installed matlab in my laptop it's showing uh, the product is already installed for you it will show the options and just uh, click next after installation of your matlab an icon will be there in your desktop and that's you will get a matlab for your laptop for windows linux and for mac os you can follow the same process and get your matlab for your laptop you can also run any of your matlab code or projects online for that again you have to visit an official website of mathwork and press on the get matlab button here you can see we have an option to open matlab online press on that button here you can uh, select uh, i am con pressing continue with the windows if you are a mac or a linux user you can uh, go to that option here you can see you can write any type of your code project anything you can run on matlab online if you are uh, facing any problem in installing matlab or any license issue you can make use of this online platform as you can see here we can plot a girl like we can analyze you can plot any graphs we can develop our apps in home button we have a toolbar with a multiple options like new variables open a variable 
and we can run any type of code or project in the online compiler also now let's see some of the three alternative top three ides for matlab which are freely available the first one is julia julia is a dynamically typed programming language with a built-in parallel computing element and the function for matrix manipulation data visualization and much more julia syntax and capabilities are popular for varieties of reason for example it has a feature that allows you to apply a function to one or more array without creating a complex loop. You can install Julia by using the link below in the description. And the second one is the Octave. Octave is the most well-known alternative for MATLAB. It has been actively developed for nearly three decades for and runs on the Linux, Windows and Mac. If you are searching for the project that is close enough to existing MATLAB language as possible, Octave is a good fit. You can install Octave by using the link below in the description. The third one is a Scilab, an open source numerical computing option that majorly runs on the platforms including Windows, Mac and Linux. Scilab is the most well-known alternative and its implementation is very similar to MATLAB. However, it is not a precise tool for project developers. You can still install Scilab by using the link below in the description. You can also go for some of the other IDEs like Sage and NumPy. The implementation of these two IDs are much similar to MATLAB. The link for these IDs are also mentioned in the below in the description. Now let's see some of the basic commands in MATLAB. There are several categories of commands available in MATLAB. Like the first one is a online help. Commands like help, demo, doc, syntax, etc. come under this category. For example, the help command will list all the topics which will available for the help. And the doc command will provide the online HTML documentation. Next, we have variable and workspace information. Variable and workspace information has a command such as who, which lists all the current and working space variables, and length, which tells the length of a vector, size, which tells the matrix size, etc. Similarly, there are multiple commands in other categories, like file and directory information as pwd, which says the current working directory and cd which changes the current working directory to the next directory and we have general information which we have a computer command which tells us the computer or which type of computer you're using and in start and exit we have a quit command for quitting the matlab and at last we have date and time category in which we have a date which says the date month or a year. Now let's see some of the commands and run these commands on our online MATLAB compiler. Now let's start with our help command. Uh, like When we type help command, uh, you will get to know if you are new to MATLAB, see the resources for getting started. You can view the documentation using the help browser here. If you press, you can see documentation, examples, key keyboard shortcuts all this and if you see demo command if we execute uh, it will land on a different page where you can see how to use matlab how to use simulink how to use some uh, physical modeling applications everything or you can learn everything from a demo command getting back to the our online compiler can execute any of the other commands for example if you type date it will give the current date month and year and try explore new commands and simple simple problems or programs in matlab with this we have reached the end of this session today we learned how to install matlab and some of the basic commands in matlab please like this video and share with it your friends for more such videos please visit our simply learn youtube channel for any queries regarding this topic mention it in the comment box thank you keep learning hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here